This is the way we were told. Every step you take is a prayer. You have to live with it, walk with it. Not just say a bunch of Hail Marys and walk across the street and back to beer joints and play golf and win a roast and marshmallow. It's not that way. Uh, you, you have to <laughs> live, walk with it. Mm -hmm. uh, your life. Yeah. You have to walk because Tugasla is watching you. And with this power here, that will is in you. That chanumpa is you. So bad thoughts and words will be blown you away. But the old people say this is handed down 19 generations ago. So when bad thoughts, words, bad thoughts come to you, never connect yourself with quick thought. If you connect yourself, it'll take you someplace where you'll never find your way back. And uh, if you, by accident, if you come back, you'll be minus arm or leg or part of your mind will be gone, it'll be absent. Now the bad, bad word come in the ear, let it go out the other ear. Now if the bad word comes in the ear, if it comes out of your mouth, uh, it's gonna destroy a lot of things. Or it might even hurt a person. You might bleed somebody and if that, hurt, if you hurt somebody, uh, that will come back to you twice. So in other words, that word come in the ear and come out of your mouth is called hearsay. Mm -hmm. So never repeat uh, what you hear because you don't know what, uh, where it happened or who said and look at. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of confusion going on. I heard you said this. I never said that. She said they said you said that. No, I didn't never said that. She said they said you said that. Mm -hmm. Them Nobody know who said what, but mm -hmm. <laughs> and this is going on. This is called afterthought, see? Mm -hmm. So uh, so we know now that <coughs> the the words bad words, bad thoughts, bad words could do a lot of damage. And now the next one, the last one, when you stay, when you, uh, the next w two words that come, hatred and jealousy run parallel alongside the Chinampa, and you are the Chinampa. So the hatred and jealousy run alongside. So my son said, you know, Dad, it took me 11 years to understand what you said. Even a fraction of an inch, you sidestep that hatred and jealousy will hit you so fast that you'll never know mm -hmm. what hit you. Mm -hmm. So these are instructions handed down, 19 generations. Mm -hmm. So now you people heard, so it's your turn to pass it on. See? Mm -hmm. I've heard you say uh, that the English language is the most dangerous language. Yes, uh, I asked the spirit, I want to speak a correct English, and <laughs> the spirit said, there is no correct English. In fact, English language is the most dangerous language in the world. Why? Because it lost its root. It's rooted into Latin, Greek, and many other languages. So it become bastardized language. So a lot of uh, in English language, there's a lot of links are missing. There's a lot of words are missing. So the, in English, so the other to bridge a gap called hyphen or I, I call it bridges. So these are all negatives. So they are coined words. They try to connect two syllables together and try uh, uh, say one thing and part another thing. So uh, there's a lot of, uh, when I translate psychology, soul or spirit. See that there is no connection. There's link missing between soul or spirit. So there's a lot of links are missing. 
O R nor and either neither maybe even but assume probability. Those other words are getting longer they're called ten dollar words or forty dollar words. But it doesn't mean nothing. So um uh I spoke there at uh, Stanford University, not translate psycho psychology. Psychology try to untangle people's mind without medicine. But psychiatrists use tranquilizer to to untangle their mind. So this box, uh, uh, they put it inside the box, and then uh, they give you a tranquilizer. But over here, without the tranquilizer, they try to untangle your mind because you saw a tree, you saw this bird sitting there warbling and chirping and whistling. So you laugh, you smile, you enjoy, you smile, you sigh. So what are you laughing? Well, you see this tree and you see this bird uh, chirping, warbling, whistling. So you enjoy. You receive some telepathic wave and tell them something that you you hear, you you sense it. So you 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 repeat that, or you reveal it. Then they'll put you in a sack and haul you to this box, and a psychiatrist will give you a tranquilizer. And then, <coughs> when you're tranquilized, you see a tree and you see a bird chirping. One, why are you laughing? Well, you see this tree and you see this bird warbling, ch chirping, and whistling. And so, there's a little hole called birdhouse. Uh, we call it university. So there's a hole. So if you stick your head out through there and say, cuckoo, I'll get out of here. Like a <laughs> so <laughs> you're tranquilized and then you stick your head and say, cuckoo. <laughs> well, it, 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 um, losing our ability to, to be in the universal mind mm -hmm. and that with the doubt and lack of trust uh -huh. in the Creator, and also humans trying to be God themselves, uh -huh. moving faster and faster and creating yeah. uh, creating a reality that is not the true nature of Yeah, things. Spirit mentioned that uh, there are multitude, countless people come and see my circle, like this, mm -hmm. see my circle. And each individual have words and problems, sadness, sickness, fear, and pain and death. And with that, we're going to have to come to a close. We've run out of time. Thank you, Connie, uh, so much. And I understand that uh, Friends of Earth People has been bringing uh, Native Americans and elders uh, to this valley, the Basalt Valley in Colorado, to share their understandings and wisdoms. And thank you so much. And Wallace, thank you very, very much for coming out of the Black Hills. And you travel all over the world, speak internationally, and share your way, because we need your way of finding the path. Thank you so much. Please join us again in the future, and we will most likely be having Wallace join us again, obviously, and we're also, as I mentioned at the beginning of the program, we'll be interviewing uh, scientists, theologians, artists, poets, and others about the true nature of things. Thank you.